Let's go back to the White House now and our chief White House correspondent, Chip Reed. Chip, kind of give us an idea of the buzz there at this point after the president has spoken. Well, let me give you an idea of the buzz out front of the White House, and I think we have some pictures we can look at. There are several hundred people out there who have been chanting USA, USA, and I think that's reflective of the mood inside the White House. And we also just got a statement from President George W. Bush, former President George W. Bush. Here is what he said. Earlier this evening, President Obama called to inform me that American forces killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of the Al-Qaeda network that attacked America on September 11th. 2001. I congratulated him and the men and women of our military and intelligence communities who devoted their lives to this mission. They have our everlasting gratitude. This momentous achievement marks a victory for America, for people who seek peace around the world, and for all those who lost loved ones on September 11, 2001. The fight against terror goes on, but tonight America has sent an unmistakable message. No matter how long it takes, justice will be done. And I think that reflects what our national security analyst Juan Zarate was saying a little while ago, this wasn't something that happened overnight. This is something that really took 10 years to happen. Now, the president did say that he uh, advised and, and instructed Leon Panetta, the CIA director, when he was first sworn into office uh, in uh, President Obama, that he wanted to make capturing or killing Osama bin Laden his top priority, but certainly the structure of the operation uh, to make this happen was something that was uh, initially put in place under President Bush. It was a long-term effort uh, and uh, certainly much to the relief uh, and uh, some would say the joy of people here in the White House and uh, Americans across the country. Uh, Osama bin Laden has been killed by a small team of, uh, of U.S. Uh, military and perhaps intelligence operatives. It's not clear exactly who was involved there in Pakistan and the body is now in the custody of the United States. Russ? Chip Reed of the White House, thank you very much.